I think Valdez Day sometimes feels like like a second birthday to me almost. This is the day that we should celebrate, but also, um, I guess, remember those who have passed before us so that we can be here and talk about what we talk about. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, I feel mixed feelings too, because uh, on the one hand, as you say, we're here, we're able to talk, we're able to kind of think about a future and a cure. You know, we, we, we do talk about cure and that's important. But of course, there's um, many hundreds of people and close friends who aren't with us uh, who didn't make that journey. People who are newly diagnosed or don't really understand what happened in those days and, and how important it was and when you were diagnosed that it was a death sentence. Mm. And today that's obviously not the case, it's a chronic illness. Um, but in those days it really was something and to actually try and keep that memory alive, to honour those people who've gone past and make their, the, their death or their passing mean something that it has to be now. World AIDS Day um, calls upon some people with HIV to stand up and say we're HIV positive. We have to expose ourselves personally and, and that also, you know, there's a bit of trauma associated for me and I've talked about it, about contracting HIV. So in a way, it's uh, kind of reliving that a bit, telling that story every time. Um, but, but also it's so important to tell those stories because um, the kind of visibility is, um, is, is important. We have to be visible. One of the things I have found is you can be doing a talk or something and something just well comes up. And, and like it's just like, you're not just getting the memories, you're getting all the emotions that come along with it too. It's really important to focus on World AIDS Day um, because it's the only day in the year where we actually get to stand up and talk about, you know, and remind everyone that HIV is still here. We need to empower people so that they're not being diagnosed and, and that is, you know, still a very relevant mes message. We're almost 40 years on and we're still having this conversation. And you go out into the wider community and people don't know anything about HIV. They have absolutely no idea. And it's about raising awareness and really ensuring that we, we have an HIV, for want of a better expression, an HIV-free generation. This is my second World AIDS Day since becoming HIV positive myself. And I'd always attended World AIDS Day candlelight memorials um, down, down when I lived in Melbourne. And it was always in solidarity with my friends that were living with HIV um, to remember those that we lost to HIV AIDS. It's now much more excitement, um, excitement in that uh, we, we get to c come together as a community and that's when I really feel um, happiest and where I feel most at peace. It's a real, it's a real day of strength and solidarity and, yeah. and community and it, it's got that really good feeling to it. It's really about bringing the, all of the communities together and making them aware that you know HIV is still here and, and so are we.